Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how you can animate the brightness as well as other parameters of the materials of objects. Uh, on this example I'll do the brightness of a neon sign, so you'll get this effect, but this also works with other stuff. For example, you can um, animate the brightness of textures or the roughness or whatever parameter you want to affect. So let's begin. We first need to create a material. Just click here, create new material, and let's call it neon sign underscore matte or let's call it matte underscore neon sign. And open the material editor. And here I want to do a few things. First, I don't want this to be a surface because I want it to be a light. So I'll switch it to light function. Here we need to create a color. So just hold three and click. And let's make it oh purple. Let's go with a let's go with a purple. Like this. And we can wire that into the emissive color. And we get something like this. If we hit apply and drag the material onto our object, we should see it glow a little bit. Now this doesn't glow too much. Maybe we activate the volumetric fog. Let's say volumetric fog. And now after we activate the volumetric height fog, it still isn't glowing a lot. So what can we do here? Well, let's open the material again. And we use a multiply node wire that into B and into the emissive color. And then we hold one and click to add a single value, which we can use to control the intensity of a color. So if we set one here, we should get a similar result as we had before. But if we set a higher value here, like for example, five, hit apply, the neon sign should be brighter. We still can't really see a lot of glow and that's because we don't have Bloom in our camera activated. For that, I'm going to use a um, post-processing volume. Uh, post-processing volume. Activate infinite extent. And search for Bloom. You can activate Bloom and immediately you'll see it will start to glow. Now we can bump up the intensity here, but uh, you'll run into a problem with other stuff as well, because everything will start to glow. What we can do instead uh, is leave that uh, maybe about one and can go back to the material, open that up and we can bump up that number, let's say eight. And you'll see the higher we go, maybe 16, the glow will get more intense, as you can see. But uh, let's go down a, git, uh, down a bit again, maybe and we put two. That's a bit too low in my opinion, maybe we go five. And let's leave it somewhere at that. And maybe we even bumped the intensity here up a little bit to two. Now we have a neon sign here. Let's say G to hide all the other stuff. And now, how do we get a flickering effect? Because that's what this video should be about. Let's create a new sequence. Call it new sequence or whatever you want. And we drag in the neon sign, which we have here. Just drag and drop it into the sequencer. And now we can add parameters to this. But before we can do that, we need to do something and go into the material, open that up. And you will have this tab here, it's called, it's called parameters. And in here, you will have the ability to add stuff to promote it to be editable in the timeline. So we right click on this and click convert to parameter. Now we can name it, let's say, call it intensity. And 
Now, if we go to intensity, you'll see, uh, now we go, if we go to parameters, you'll see there's a parameter, it's called intensity. And if we change that, we can change the brightness. Uh, let's hit apply and you'll see. Change it back and we have five again. We can even do the same thing with a color. So if we right click and click convert to parameter and call it color and go to parameters, you'll see you will have this one as well. And everything you promote here, the same thing works with textures. So if you have a texture and uh, you use a multiply node and uh, set a parameter where you, you can change the brightness of textures as well. Uh, now, if we have these parameters here, we could click apply and close it. And now if we click plus track, set uh, mesh component zero, and add track and we want to add element zero and in element zero you'll find the color as well as the intensity so we open that up and here we have both and here we can set keyframes so right now we have this one at five and if we want maybe let's go few frames later and set it to zero and you'll see it will go out if we put this oops if we delete this keyframe again and maybe go three frames here put it to zero go five zero select all of these and copy and paste them a few times you'll get a flickering maybe we don't do too much uh, delete a few of those Ooh, another one put these somewhere in the middle And if we make the distance between the keyframes a little bit shorter, let's say something like this. And you'll get a flickering effect. Easy like that. And now some other cool stuff you can do. For example, you can keyframe the color. So right now we have a purplish color. So the keyframe, oh, we already have one even. Let's delete that. And maybe let's go a little bit more into red or let's take out a little bit of red. So we go towards blue, mm, put in Let's go like this and you'll see it shift to blue. Easy like that. Maybe we put this somewhere around here. And here we have a neon sign changing its color and flickering a bit while doing so. Easy like that. This works with other stuff as well. You can just make them parameters and animate them in the timeline. See you in the next one.